What do you get if you take a nine patch block and use that to make a bigger nine patch block? You get a double nine patch. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this 12 inch double nine patch block. Welcome to Eva to Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this double nine patch block. It's a nine patch block, but instead of solid squares in the feature fabric, we're actually using mini nine patch blocks. To make a double nine patch block, you're gonna need four, four and a half inch squares of background fabric. And then to make the mini nine patch blocks, we're gonna use a technique called strip piecing. So you're gonna need a two and a half inch strip of feature fabric and this strip needs to be at least 15 inches long for one block. So if you're making multiple blocks, then you could just cut a strip with a fabric. Then you're also gonna need two one and a half inch strips of background fabric that are going to be at least 15 inches long. So if you're only making one block, you could cut one and a half inch strip of fabric and then cut that in half. But if you're making multiple blocks, then you'd have to measure to see if you would need to cut two strips from that. I'm using scraps for my project, so mine are all different lengths. I just had to measure to make sure that each one was long enough. You're also gonna need two one and a half inch strips of feature fabric that are at least 18 inches long and a two and a half inch strip of background fabric that's at least 18 inches long. And then we're gonna combine these into two different strip sets. So we're gonna take our wide background piece and on either side of that, we're gonna stitch a narrow feature fabric. And for our other set, we're gonna take our wide feature fabric and on either side of that, we're gonna stitch our narrow background fabric. So we'll just stitch these together with a quarter inch seam. So when the strip sets have been joined, take a quick minute and measure. They should be four and a half inches wide if you have an accurate seam allowance. And we press the seams on both of them toward the dark fabric. So on this piece, the seams are pressed out. And on this one, the seams are pressed in. And that will make it a lot easier when we go to join the pieces later. Now from this one, the one that has the feature fabric in the middle, we're gonna cut two and a half inch pieces from this, and we're gonna need five of those. And then from the other one that has the feature fabric on the sides, we're gonna cut one and a half inch pieces, and we're gonna need 10 of those. Once these pieces have been cut, we're gonna join them together to make the mini nine patch blocks. So we'll take one of the ones that has the feature fabric in the middle, and then two of the other ones, and we'll add one of those onto each side. We'll join all of these pieces in this way, which will give us five mini nine patch. Once these pieces have been joined, we have the little mini nine patch blocks, and these are gonna be used as the feature fabric squares in our bigger nine patch block. Now you might notice that compared to a regular nine patch block, this one has a large square in the middle and small squares in the corners. And that was just something easy that I did to make the math easier. Because if you have a four inch square and you try to divide it into three equals parts, you're gonna get one and a third inch. And it's very difficult to measure one and a third inch with the quilting ruler. So I made the center square is gonna finish at two inches and the corner squares are gonna finish at one inch to give us four inches in the finished piece. So that's a little trick. Be sure to check my other video about making nine patch blocks any size, and that will give you other little tricks like this to help when you're trying to adjust something. But these squares are gonna lay out um, on the corners and in the middle. And that's gonna be our nine patch block. Join three blocks together to make rows and then join the rows together, just like a regular nine patch block. So once they've been joined together, we have our 12 inch double nine patch block. Now you could keep going with this block, 
just like in a tunnel with two mirrors where you use this block as a feature in a nine patch block and then use that in another nine patch block and that in a bigger nine patch block. But I don't know how far I would carry that. Whatever you do with this, have fun using it in your next quilting project. For more quilt block tutorials and tips, be sure to check out my website, ewoodastudio.com.